Okay, so in this um, section, we're still in 1-4. We're going to uh, do a construction on bisecting an angle. Remember, bisecting means we're going to cut it perfectly in half. So the first thing we're going to do is draw an angle on our paper. And we're going to name this angle um, P, or we're going to name the vertex of the angle P. So then we're going to put the metal hole, the little brass ring of our compass, on point P. And we're going to draw a large arc that intersects both sides of P. And we're going to label those intersections Q and R. So points Q, point R. We now have angle Q, P, R. So then we're going to put our metal hole at point Q and we're going to draw an arc in the interior of the angle. So we're going to put it somewhere in here, um, preferably just a little bit over half if you can, and we're going to make it above and below the original arc. From there, we're going to take the exact same hole and we're going to do the same thing to point R. And again, we're going to do this above and below where our initial was. Where those two intersect, here and here, we can make, take our straight edge and connect all of our dots. And we're going to label this intersection point T. We don't need to label this one because that gives us an angle there. So we have drawn angle um, QPT and angle TPR and they are bisectors, so this is going to be the same as angle QPT we know is going to be congruent to angle TPR. We also know that the measure of angle QPT will be equal to the measure of angle TPR.